How did the uh, jobs go? Our last jobs. We're good. Good. We're good. Yeah. You know, we had a heat wave, a little bit of a heat wave. Hopefully, it's the yeah. last one. Yeah, with that job that we were at, you know, there was a renovation, so there was no AC. And you remember how the heat index got to like 115 that that day. I mean, and the room that I was in, at least the room he was in, there was like a breeze come through. Mine was not. It the sun beat down on it all day. One of the other contractors came over and said, "How am I in here? Why am I wearing black? Um, where's your fan?" And uh, towards the end of the day, even touching the pins and the pieces of melamine felt hot. And then my teeth felt hot to the touch. I mean, okay, you know it's hot when the teeth are hot. Yeah, yeah, no Holy doubt. Smoke. It was insane. So Holy. did you check on him? Yeah, I went and, got, I went and bought a fan. You bought a fan? Yeah, I bought How a fan. How many hours were y'all out that day? Probably eight, ten. Oh eight to my 10 or something God. Like that. Like that. It was like all day hot yoga. <laughs> Literal. <laughs> Literal. <laughs> all right, well, I'm glad you survived. Damn, that's that. awful. That's, yeah. Hopefully, yeah. it's the last heat wave. Yeah. yeah, I almost thought I was going to have to strip down my underwear and work in there. That would be worse. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> Vicki, do we have any comments? We <laughs> do. We have a comment from Tamara about Nick, the job he did last week. Nick is fast as greased lightning. Finished two installs by 1 p.m. Must have had plans that afternoon. I did. <laughs> I did. I was supposed to go to a concert. All right. I canceled, so. All right. Okay, so today um, we have Mark and Eileen Whitaker's job. Juan, you and Michael are going to be installing. Um, they're out mm -hmm. in Birdneck Point. I think you've already done yeah, we went out and tear out. Yeah. You did the tear out, and Tammy and I went out and actually measured that job. We measured and took the um, took pictures of the. Mm -hmm. So you know what to expect. They're a really nice couple. I think she's like a semi-professional golfer. Oh, right? she's up there in golf, man. She's got a plaque. It's a hole-in-one plaque. So, you know, I'm still shooting for one of those, but okay. still far away. All she's right. got one, so it's, yeah, it's pretty cool. Well, like, is there anything unique about the about this job? Well, yeah, it's four sections. Um, it's all summer flame material. Um, first section, tilt hampers, drawer banks. It's got the uh, motion lighting, so she can just wave her hand in it. And the second one, it's a smaller closet, summer flame again, just chrome over rods. So it does have shelving and a mirror for uh, Shoes. Beautiful house. It's just yep. a gorgeous house on the water. Um, so, okay, everybody work safe and let's knock it out of the park. Cool. All right. Okay. All, righty. All right. Thank you. <laughs>
and so I had to separate my stuff and my husband has a, has a nice closet but they could all use some, some work so I'm really looking forward to having this done. We're here at the first day of a three-day install at the Whitakers and it looks to be a pretty uh, it's gonna be a pretty involved uh, install. You know, we have uh, three large units and one small one and uh, even before we bring our material in we have to rip out the existing units that are in there. Uh, that's gonna take a, a uh, good amount of our first day but what we're putting in is gonna be a vast improvement so you know we're all ready. Yep. Done we had our breakfast we gotta get started. <laughs> Alright let's go. As you can see right here the old material was uh, yanked out relatively easy because it was the kind that was just hung on the wall with uh, cleats. We're all set now, now to bring in the new material. The majority of the material that we usually install is only seven feet high. This material is 10 feet high. Thankfully in this house we have pretty tall ceilings. Anyways, definitely would have been a chore in like a, in a regular house. All right, this in this room right here, all we've got left to do is the top and bottom trim and uh, finish off on the doors here. So I'm gonna finish, while I finish this, I'm actually going to go ahead and get started in, the, in that last room. Um, we're looking pretty good, so kind of divide and conquer at this point. most of the panels set where they need to go. I need to determine where the rest of the panels are sitting and uh, make sure that the, uh, the backings coincide where they go as well. And then from there, I'll start pinning up and then joining together the, uh, the units at these 22 and a half degree angles because I'd really like to get those correct first. Uh, there's really only two spots in here where it's like that, so it shouldn't be too bad. You know, it's just you know, like I was saying earlier, the, the measurements have to be correct for that to work perfectly. But that's what I'm doing right now. I did have a client over in the Great Neck area whose home was built um, with a master closet that had um, slope ceilings. And the client had actually talked to two or three builders and all of them said, don't, we don't want to do the job called Closet Factory. Uh, so unfortunately I got that lead. <laughs> And I went into the house and I wanted to run too. <laughs> but I sat myself in that closet for an hour and just stared at it trying to figure out, oh my God, how am, am I going to do this closet? <laughs> the man was probably wondering why I was sitting in the closet so long. <laughs> I finally took my pad out and started sketching and figured out how I was going to solve this problem. Um, so it took me about a week to figure out how to do the design, but I came back a week later, showed him the design, and he bought it. Um, it was done, but it was a difficult job even for the installers. Uh, they weren't that happy with it too, and when they did the... <laughs> And when they did the, the remeasure, they were like, oh my God, what did you do? 
<laughs> so um, it, it got completed, but <laughs> it was definitely an experience. It's day three, brother. We gotta hurry up and get this thing done. This is comfortable, though. Yes, Here's what they wanted to do here. I mean, I guess I could get it to work. She wanted this to act almost as like a vertical bridge shelf, where all these rain fixes tied in. I mean, tied in this pan. Oh, I got you. That way, it's not all the way right to the back. Hmm. Suppose I can. Do I think you can do it. I think I need to go ahead and pull on this uh, the back here first. And I gotta get. I'm gonna get screwed here at the bottom, okay. so I can have something to yank it this way. Okay. And this issue here is the bottom wall is pushing this panel and everything this way where it's making it exceedingly difficult to squeeze the bottom in front of this thereby being able to lock the fall in so right now we're just doing a lot of exploratory surgery trying to get this thing figured out and use that and yank that okay. forward all right yeah see it's that thick carpet that's here put this over here yeah. go this way the thing that way with your no, with your mallet. Knock it up under there and then see if you can't. Yeah, let's slide it over just a little bit. There you go. Oh. Patient stabilized. It wasn't easy. <laughs> Days like this to make it worthwhile. start putting the accessories in in this case there's a larger mirror that goes in this place <clears throat> this will act as a, like a little bench seat it'll have a door a couple doors right there I'm gonna be putting those in here shortly as soon as I get this all set so far it's going in good nice and smooth I'm going to set it down on the top, make a note to not scratch up my fingers. I have to make sure that the top of the mirror is past those ray fixes or cams because you don't want it in front of that because if, then you won't be able to pass it and by that time I've already had this too deep in here and it won't fit or you won't be able to get it up. And there you are, in the mirror on the bench seat right here. There will be cleated up underneath and then two small doors. And you can know, sit here and get ready in the morning, that sort of thing. Good to go.
Okay, so here we're now in the master alcove with these gorgeous cabinets. Oh, here. this is just stunning. I, <laughs> I can't believe it. This is great. And it looks beautiful when the light is coming in from the sunlight, too. It just really brightens it up and warms up the colors. It's just gorgeous. Yeah, um, and it's nice. It'll keep everything private. I had too much exposure with my things before. This that's is great. Yeah, it's going to be very, very helpful. And lots yes. of drawers, which I will fill. Mm -hmm. And we have yeah. some jewelry, more <laughs> jewelry inserts in the top two drawers. Great. I'll fill them with other things too. I'm sure. Yeah. So, but what do you think? I love it. I absolutely love it. Love it too. We'll get our painter in here and we'll be all set. Yep. This is Mark's closet. Oh my, this is wonderful. Oh my goodness. This is better than I expected. He's going to absolutely love this. I agree. This is beautiful. The wood, oh my goodness. So oh. let me give you a quick tour. This is another pop-up drawer we have um, so that he could store his luggage in. We have folded clothing cubbies. Now these shelves can be adjusted up and down. All you would have to do is move the pins to whatever holes you want. We have two slide-out trays for him. And a took out Oh my goodness! Basket. Oh wow, that is awesome. He's going to love this, and that'll keep all hidden. Oh, nice. I think so, nice too. And That's what we want. Yeah, this is the wall where he, all his hanging is going to be. And this is Mark's bachelor's oh chest. Goodness. Oh, this is beautiful. Yeah, oh. see how high the, the countertop is? Yes. This is a typical countertop height for a bachelor's chest. And I saw the light came on when yes. we came in the room. Uh-huh, that is a, an LED with a uh, motion detected by battery operated device in it. Um, He's going, he loves gadgets, so that yeah. would be great. Oh my, and the jewelry drawer? The jewelry oh. drawer. He's got plenty with of space lock. for that and a, a lock. Uh, another pop-up door for here, more clothing cubbies. This is wonderful. Mm. And we have more hanging over here. And of course, all the shoes shelving. <laughs> now Mark has a lot of shoes, so that's going he to work. He does. I oh. noticed them when we were doing the design. And um, we also left some space at the bottom so that he can put his tall boots over there. Those important cowboy boots. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> and this is a seated bench with doors on the bottom. He, Mark can also put his boots under there, too. Oh my, that's, that's, that's wonderful. Yeah, so he has extra space there. And this is a fabulous valet rod. So when he's getting ready to oh, go to his trips to DC, he can put all his clothing there, put his seat bag around it, and then slide it back. Oh, he's going to love this. Yes. He'll be here tomorrow. Now these are, these are the cubbies that we set aside for all his baseball hats. And of course, another pop-up door for more luggage or bulky item storage. Oh, that is just great. Yep. I love it. I Absolutely think you will be it. thrilled. I really do. So, on to your closet. Oh, my. Yep. I can't wait. All righty. This oh is my. your closet, Aileen. Oh, wow. This is so much different. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Oh, my. Wow. <laughs> I remember you telling wall. me about the glass cabinets, how nice they'd be, and they really are. So I'll put my nice sweaters in uh -huh. there. Uh-huh, and back here behind the door, we have a place for your dresses and more hats up there. Oh. So we yeah. were able to utilize this space and it the way really you wanted to. I, and I filled it with things I didn't use. Yes. Oh, this armoire looks beautiful. I think oh, so, my. too. And look, you have two jewelry inserts in your top drawers and I'm look what you got down that. there oh my this another laundry it is so fabulous I isn't it too. i love that that's uh -huh. perfect we are going to love this and uh, you have two pop-up drawers over here in addition to the one over there oh and um this whole entire back your, so um, i now wall. have plenty of 
space for all of my clothing, not yes. just part. Yes, Very and then good. you have plenty of belt racks in here. Now you also can hang scarves on these if you wear scarves. Um, so they can be used for multiple purposes. And um, over here is we have three foot long shoe shelving um, because you have so many pairs of shoes. And we left a space down at the bottom there for your tall boots. Great. And that is wonderful. Oh my. And of course, this is your seated bench where you're going to sit down and put your shoes on. Oh, yes. And you do have doors under here too where you can store Extra anything stuff. that you want in there. And voila. Another ballet rack. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah. And in these cubbies right here, you can store pocketbooks in there. So Oh, that's great. great. Right there. Right, in right there. Right there. Yes. Ready to go. This, this is perfect. I'll probably put a little cushion right there. Copy be nice. So I can sit. Very nice. Mm -hmm. This has been a really wonderful experience. My closets are done, and from that point, I got to meet Juan and Michael, and they were delightful. It's very hard having contractors in your home, and the three days, it's, it has been seamless. They have gotten the work done, polite, courteous, cleaned up after themselves and left for the day, and I really appreciated that. And uh, they're very personable. They did a great job. I've had, I've had a chance to take a look at all these things, and everything is just beautiful. I am delighted. I cannot believe these are my closets. This is just absolutely wonderful. It's just a great company. I, I only have positive words to say and will highly recommend them to my friends. I was just finished up here at the Whitaker house. It took every bit of three days for this one. Yes, it did. I really do believe we set the bar, or raised the bar actually, as far as installs go. I mean, it, everything is just looking really sharp in there. Clients are real happy. And uh, yeah, it was a real go in there and get it done kind of job. So yeah, it really went well. She really loves it. Pretty good closet for a hole-in-one recipient. Oh, indeed. So, yeah, all four gosh. units are really neat. Yep. So till the next one. That is right.